Hey, what's up, guys? Dimes is she here, and today, Manchester United 3, Manchester City 6. Make sure you guys smash the like button, comment, and subscribe. Um, going through the game in the first half, we started off very, very poorly. Um, bad midfield giveaways, and we got punished on multiple occasions. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, we have to work on our midfield. I think um, Erickson was being played under a lot of pressure. Like, they would pass it to him, and he would be under tons of pressure. It's like, what do you want him to do in certain situations? But the passes have got to be better in the midfield. I think McTominay gave away a terrible pass, and then that put Malasia. He had to foul him. Because if he lets Grealish or DeBron, I don't know who it was. I think it was Grealish. If he lets him run through like that with the quality of Grealish, they could punish us again. The passes have to be better in the Premier League level. You can't just give away passes like this is um, pickup or something. This is not pickup football. This is Premier League football. You can't just give the ball away. You, you can't in the midfield. You will get punished nine times out of ten in the Premier League. Um, towards the end, um, we kind of picked it up a little bit. Anthony with an absolute worldy of a shot on his left foot. I mean, that was a hell of a goal. And then Martial with a rebound and a penalty. So he came on to score two goals, which is good. Um, Holland and Foden both with hat tricks, I think, honestly. Holland ran riot. I think he got like two assists and three goals. I, he I, he ran right today. Holland played out of his out of his skin, out of his skin today. I think um, defensively we were very poor today. I think um, Lindelof was shaky when he came on Luke Shaw and um, Emmy um, Lasandro Martinez having a miscommunication um, when Luke Shaw came on. I think Luke Shaw was okay for the second half. He kind of played the damage control limitation. Um, I don't think there's much the hair can do about those goals. A lot of those goals are something he can really do, to be honest. I think the defense has to take a little bit more blame, but that doesn't excuse the fact that the hair did concede six goals today. I mean, you can't just get six put past you like that, but all of that defense has to take some sort of blame. Um, Rashford with another quiet game. I think, honestly, playing a 4-2-3-1, um, it, it'll work, but I think that when you have one striker and you're a defender... It's a lot easier to be in a back four and mark one striker because all you have to realistically do, especially if you're not playing like a 4-3-3, if you're playing a 4-2-3-1 and the striker sits up there by himself, um, you would need a big man. You need somebody like a Giroud or something. You need somebody who can really put their back on those center backs and hold the ball up. And I don't think Rashford has that in his game. I think somebody like Martial could probably suit that role better than Rashford. I, don't, I think Rashford's a winger, bro. I think he's more of an out-wide player. Um, he can play striker, yes. Yes, he can go in that position and play against, like, probably mid-table teams. Yes. Yes, he can do that. But when we play good teams, we're going to need a big target. Man, I think Ronaldo would have been perfect up there, but um, Ronaldo didn't come on today. Um, Martial actually came on ahead of Ronaldo, which is wild. It's not really wild, to be honest, because I think Ronaldo's been very out of form and I hope that really gives him a kick up the ass. And it's like, you're not, just because you're Cristiano Ronaldo does not mean you're just going to walk right into the team. That's not how it works. I'm glad Ten Hag is doing that because you do need that type of um, vibe in the dressing room. Because if these players are so that Ronaldo's just going to play every time he plays like garbage, that makes no sense. These players, everybody should be able to get dropped. Casemiro, Ronaldo, any of these guys. It, it doesn't matter. And I think Ten Hag is the manager to handle these egos. But, um... Yeah, I think six goals is absolutely terrible. That scoreline looks a lot better than that game because we played terrible in that first half. We played very, very bad. I think that that first half was poor. That first 40 minutes was probably the worst we've played in this whole season for sure. That first 40 minutes was absolutely terrible. Four goals in 40 minutes is poor. That's a goal every 10 minutes. That's that's poor for Manchester United standards. But, um... Yeah, we just have to bounce back. I think that two week break when the um um with that situation in the UK, um, I think that fucked us up, man. I, I really do because I think if we would have played Crystal Palace and I think it was Leeds or whoever else we were gonna play, um, I think we would have had a little bit more momentum going into the derby. We would have been a little bit more warm, but we're coming back, these players are coming back from international break. They haven't really played with each other. But then again, you can say the same thing. Other teams haven't done that, which I, I completely understand. That is a valid argument, but it has fucked up the whole rhythm for us. It really has, because we were playing very well before that. 
and they messed up the whole take and rhythmic of how we were playing. So, um, it's nothing for me to really say. I mean, we just have to move on to the next game. I think that today, I think defensively we were poor, but I would still keep that same back line. Um, I wouldn't change that. I would keep Veron and Lissandro Martinez in the back line. I would not bring McGuire back in. Um, this is not an excuse to bring McGuire back in. He's been piss poor. Honestly, I'll, honestly, honestly, I mean, I could forgive them a little bit more because they did it for one game. They played well against Liverpool and Arsenal. McGuire has been consistently poor over the past few seasons, and he needs some time off. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the result down below. This is Big Bull Nights. See you guys, and I'm out. Peace.